Sub crown for 60. I was in Sub crown for 6. Amen. Sub crown for 60. I want to talk to you just for a few minutes about God's vision. Amen. God's vision. Seeing what God sees. Hmm. Seeing what God sees. <laughs> see, with your eyes, you can only see so much. Okay. And vision is a is a is a wonderful thing. Come you on. know, you don't really appreciate it till you start losing. Amen. Oh, come on, somebody. I know what I'm talking about. Go ahead. I ain't got these glasses so I can look cute. Hmm. It used to be I could see stuff. I could see a ant crawling on the wall. Amen. Huh? <laughs> uh, now I'd be straining just to <laughs> see, see the net, whatever, crawling on me. But I'm saying that your vision has to be in that if you're seeing what God is seeing, then you can see what he's doing. Okay. Amen. Mm. And then you can be a partner with him. Amen. There's a big jolly fellow by the name of Billy Cole, part of United Pentecostal Church International. Amen. He, uh, they keep numbers everywhere he goes. People getting filled with the Holy Ghost everywhere he goes. Three thousand, five thousand. I think we were in a meeting one one year. And they were shooting for five thousand people to get like the third day of Pentecost or something to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And people ask them, they say, "Well, Billy, what's your what's your secret? How?" How is it that people happen to get so many people filled with the Holy Spirit in your meeting? What is it about? Because, you know, he gets out there and he laughs and, and just kind of talk. You know, he, don't, he ain't preaching hard or nothing like that. He said, I just see what God is doing. Amen. Hmm? Amen. And I find out where he's going to do it. Okay. Huh? And I show up. <laughs> That's all you got to do is see what God is doing. Uh -huh. Find out where he's going to do it and show up. Amen. See, some of y'all miss it because y'all won't even show up for service. Amen. Come on now. Find out what God is doing. See what it is he's doing because the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong. Amen. See, God ain't trying to show you off. He's trying to show himself Amen. strong. Amen. Hmm? In the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. If your heart is right, God wants to show himself strong. Amen. On your behalf. How many know God wants to show himself strong on your behalf? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God. Let me say this. God did not mismanage your life. Amen. Whatever you're going through, listen, you're going through it for a reason. Amen. Hmm? Go aboard what you're going through. Amen. <laughs> The problem is sometimes we try to abort the process. Hmm? Sometimes we try to abort, uh, you know, when we're going through. Huh? We try to get out, you know, Lord, get me out of this. I got a word for you. He didn't get you in it. Amen. <laughs> Whoever got you in it might have to get you out of it. And we always want God to get us out of the mess that we got ourselves into. Hmm? But one thing about God, if he don't get you out, he'll get in it with you. Amen. Huh? Amen. If he don't get you out of the mess, he'll get in it with you. Come on now. Huh? Amen. That's a word. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, now, now that would be some comfort because uh, it was three Hebrew men. Y'all call them boys, but they had to be a men because they made right decisions. Uh, the difference between men and boys is that boys make boy decisions. Men make men decisions. Amen. Huh? See, they, they became a man that day when they said, we will not bow. That's right. That's right. Now, I don't care how old they were. They, that was a man decision. Uh -huh. Boys wouldn't have made that kind of decision. So I don't call them no Hebrew boys. I call them Hebrew men. Because yes. they say, we will not bow. Right. Yeah. Hmm? They all made that decision. They didn't huddle up and say, what you think? Uh, what you think, Shadrach? What you think, Meshach? They didn't say nothing like that. They just said, we will not bow. Come on now. Hmm? And by them not bowing, uh -huh. amen, they said, even if God don't get us out of this. Come on now. Even if God don't get us out of this mess. Come on now. Yes. Huh? 
They found out that he would get in the fire with them. Oh, glory Amen. be to God. Hmm? Thank you, Lord. And because he was in the fire, the fire couldn't do nothing with him. Amen. 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 Come on, now that's a promise. He said, Lord, I'm with you in. Always. Amen. So God will get right in the midst of your situation. See, he ain't going to get you out of it. He's trying to make you go through it. Yes. What a great testimony. I mean, if God would have just stopped the fire right then, we would have never read the story. Hmm? If the fire wouldn't have been so hot that the people throwing them in didn't get burned up, then you would have said it was something wrong with the oven. <laughs> hmm? Now, I used to work at Cook Heat Treating Plant. And we had an oven that it would turn up to 2,000 degrees. Hmm? And when you got ready to put that metal in there, you had to have a shield over your face, some special gloves on, and it still was hot. I'll never forget, I worked with this Spanish guy. He said, very hot, brother, very hot. <laughs> he was getting me ready for it. I didn't know, I, you know, we've been in a thousand degree oven, and we went to a 1500 degree oven, but that 2000 degree oven, that's a whole nother level there. And when you put that metal in there, you can actually see the atoms dancing. The new, it, I mean, it changes the molecular, yeah. the molecules. It, 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 they be dancing. It's so hot. And sometimes when the metal can't take the heat treatment, because see, these, this stuff was being made for uh, oil plants and, and refineries and things of that nature, so they had to test it and heat treat it, make sure it was going to be able to stand up under pressure. Amen. So they would put that stuff in there, and sometimes it would just go pow, just break the pieces. <coughs> but it's better it's broken the oven. Yeah. <laughs> then they put it on the refinery, amen, and blow up half of Houston. <laughs> so these these metal pipes, these valves and stuff, when they would pull it out of the oven after it had finished the heat treating process, you couldn't put it in water. Amen. You had to quench it in oil. Hmm? And the oil would actually catch on fire when you would place that metal down in the oil. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm saying something to you here is that if you can see what it is that God is doing on your behalf, hmm? stay with the vision now. See what it is. That, see, don't be trying to see your way out of the situation. Hmm? See your way through the situation. Amen. Huh? See, the problem is we got too many crybaby Christians. Mm. Yes. If I'm talking about just going, eh. <laughs> <laughs> too many crybaby Christians because they're going through a little something, man. You know, you know, I, I can't pay this bill. You act like you're the first one that couldn't pay a bill. Huh? Amen. Huh? You act like you're the first one that, that, that had a problem with their husband. <laughs> or wife. Or children. You're not the first one. Come on, you're not going to be the last one. Amen. Huh? But it's what you do while you're going through. Amen. Mm, going to determine how long you got to deal with it. Amen. Mm. Don't get out of character. That's right. Don't lose your cool. Mm. Don't cause the situation to be greater than the God that's going through with you. Amen. Oh, that wasn't even my message. That's a good one right there. Don't act like God ain't there. He's right there. He's looking at you. Come on now. He's right there with you. He see what you see. But he sees something you don't see. He's looking at you to see how you're going to take it. I got a word for the ladies in here. No, for the men. Man up. Amen. <laughs> see, when I'm going through something, my wife know it. She asked me, what's wrong? I said, nothing. Because I don't really want to tell her. There ain't no pride in it. I don't want her to. Ain't no sense in both of us were. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so I already got, got a hold on me. I don't want to see her going through what I'm going through. I'm, I'm going to handle this. Amen. Hmm? And then she just go on like, you know, <laughs> like it ain't no problem. Amen. Hmm? I said, where you at? She said, I'm over here in Sam. I said, what money you spending? <laughs> Nervous now. <laughs> but you said, I said, go on, baby, go on, go on. Amen. 
Amen. See, because a man is supposed to cover the woman. Amen. 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 And God is supposed to cover the man. Amen. Amen. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from his forth thou shalt have wars. He was talking to Asa, the king of Israel, that was having some problems. But he didn't trust in God. Come on, somebody. He didn't trust in the God that made him a promise that he was going to bring him through. Give me my next scripture. Give me my next scripture. Proverbs. Twenty nine sixteen. Surely, well, I'm in Isaiah. No wonder. See, vision, vision is something else. You gotta have right vision. You gotta know where it is God's working at. Amen. Let me tell you the wonder of vision. Don't let your eyes play tricks on you. Sometimes things are appear to be a certain way. Hmm? And then not it's not that at all. Amen. Huh? But because it looked like that, you jump all over that. Amen. Huh? Because it looked like the book of man. <laughs> How many times you been in a dark room? That's why you gotta have light. Okay. You been in a dark room and, and you see something over there in the corner. And, Yes. Amen. Look like a man head over there. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Come on now. First thing that hits you is what? Fear. 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 Huh? Fear. That's the first spirit that comes and attack you is fear because you think that that bag sitting over there is a man's head. Amen. And because of fear, let me tell you what you do. You'll hurt yourself. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. They used to say, go to, go won't hurt you, but they'll make you hurt yourself. <laughs> Folk that say they see these spirits and stuff, they say, that go won't hurt you, but they'll make you hurt yourself because you be running so hard, you, yeah. <laughs> you'll hurt yourself. Amen. Mm. So, when you turn the light on, you find out that it's a bag. <laughs> huh? Come on now. <laughs> How many of y'all have one of them old refrigerators that go, <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank God it's still running. Huh? Yeah, it's making a little noise, but it's still keeping stuff cold. That's right. That's right. But I know we had an old refrigerator like that one time, and man, we knew that was the refrigerator, but it didn't go to making another noise. I said, that ain't the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> huh? See, because sound will give you vision. Oh, come on, somebody. Yes, yes. What you hear sometimes will cause you to see things wrong. Yes. That's right. You got to be careful what you hear sometimes. Yes. You got to be careful the source of where you're getting your information from. Amen. Because sometimes you get bad information and, and, and it'll make you see have the wrong vision. That's right. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 29 and 16, When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase. Hmm? But the righteous shall see their fall. Huh? That ain't what I was looking for. That's a good one. Hmm? When the righteous shall see their fall. Scripture I was looking for where there's no vision, the people perish. Where is that at? 18. 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Amen. Amen. See, vision is so important to your life. Amen. I never forget uh for Luke and uh Lisa, they were the only one in the church at the time. I was teaching, get a vision for your family. Hmm? And the vision is in, you know, the eyes are in your head. Right. Hmm? So every man got to have a vision for his house. Hmm? 
Now, you might know the vision of this house, but do you know the vision of your house? Come on now. Mm -hmm. When you got vision for your house, that means you can see some things that hadn't taken place yet. Right. Yeah. Huh? True. Huh? That means that you can see your children doing stuff that they don't even seem like they're going to do. Yes, Lord. Hmm? So when you see them doing stuff that's not part of the vision, you can say that ain't part of the vision. That's right. You, you, you just stop that. That ain't even part of our vision. Right. That's right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cancel that sign. I ain't so seed for that. Amen. That's that's, right. that's not my harvest. Amen. Uh -huh. I, I got a greater vision for you. <coughs> Amen. God gave me a vision. See, God gives you a vision for everything that's in your house. That's right. Amen. 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 Huh? That's right. Amen. God didn't give you no vision for it, then it ought not be in your house. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? If, if they ain't go along with the vision, then get it out your house. Amen. Huh? Because the vision is that we were, we're what? We're going to be triumphant. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Victorious. We're going to be victorious in every endeavor. We never lose. That's right. Huh? Three out of four ain't going to work for me. I got to win every time. Amen. Right. Amen. Huh? Every time I go to battle, I want to win. Amen. I'm right. part of a team that never lose. Right. Right. I don't want to get there uh, as a wild card. <laughs> I want to walk like a champion. That's right. Right. Hmm? So the vision is for an appointed time, though it tarry, wait for it. Because right. it's going to talk to you. That's right. Huh? The Bible says the vision is going to speak yeah, and it right. shall not lie. Yeah. So God gives you a vision so that you can see what it is he's trying to do. Thank you, Lord God. Your vision need to line up with his vision. That's 2020 right there. Yes. Huh? See, some of y'all got, got some vision, but it ain't 2020 because your vision is not lining up with his vision. Come on there, God. Mm. And sometimes when God has to allow some things to push you back on course. Come on, somebody. Oh, it, it might be a little pressure, amen, but it's putting you back on course. Yeah. Oh, I know you had this fancy idea, but it's putting you back on course. Because God's vision is a vision to prosper you. He says, I know you're expected in to bring you to a prosperous place. Yes, yes. Thank People you. don't want to hear this message, but I'm telling you that that's the only message that you're going to act ever be victorious with. Amen. God don't want you just sad and somber, making him look bad. That's Jesus. Right. That's right. Huh? He, the first scripture we looked at, he say, on your behalf, to show himself strong. That's yeah. right. That's right. When people look at you, they need to recognize who the God that you serve. Yeah. Hmm? When people look at your children, they, they need to see the parents. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I don't like what, 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 what my children are displaying right now. And they don't understand that. But I'm the father, so I got to bring correction. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I never met this woman here. Met her daughter. Didn't even know they were sisters. I thought they was free. <laughs> I've been knowing them, what, six, seven months? They didn't come. But I know one thing about this woman. I, I never met her. She's a prayer. Amen. Huh? She know how to pray. How I know that? Because her daughter know how to pray. <laughs> huh? Come on now. They didn't just pick that up at somebody's church. You got to pray at home. That's right. That's right. Amen. I mean, they some prayer warriors. First time they came here, they they, they didn't come here uh, tiddling wink, looking at no boys. No, they came here praying. Glory. Amen. 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 That's the vision of the house. God put a, a, a mail on her. Now, the mail has passed on to her daughters. Amen. Yes. Amen. It's prophetic, too. It's powerful. It's a it's strong, yes. powerful, prophetic, praying mantle. Amen. 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 The function of a prophet is to pray. I don't want to hear nothing you talking about if you ain't talking to God. Amen. All these people want to prophesy. 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 I tell you, if you're a prophet, come on, get get here. And let's let's get on this altar. I tell you, if you're a real prophet. Amen. A real prophet, pray. Amen. And if it take you 15 minutes to warm up, then you you might not be called a prophet. <laughs> you might be you might be something else for you to do. <laughs> See, the prophet speaks for God. Yes. Hmm? If you're going to talk for me, you better know what I'm saying. Amen. Let me, let me teach it over here. Yes. If you're going to be my spokesman, you better hear what I'm saying so you get it right so you can say it. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. right. Say what you say. Say it right. And in order to say what he's saying, you got to be talking to him. Amen. 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 Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Here's my next scripture. 22.12, Proverbs. 
The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge. Huh? And he overthrew it, the words of the transgressor. Hmm? The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge. Amen. Hmm? See, sometimes we forget what we know. Amen. Come on, how many, how many times we even forgot what we, you know, Amen. we don't write it down. I used to remember everything. I mean, I, I could preach a whole sermon and, 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 and quote scriptures and all that, but now I got to write it down. Amen. <laughs> huh? Got to write it down, put it on the blackboard. Put it, put it big where I can see it. Amen? Amen. Huh? Back it up. Back it up one time. Back it up. One scripture. There you go. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, mm -hmm. and he overthroweth the words. Let me tell you something. Hmm? See, it's some words that's been spoken against you. I don't, I don't want to scare nobody, but I'm going to tell you everybody that you think for you ain't for you. Amen. And there's some stuff been spoken against you, and those words are out there. Amen. And sometimes you run into some uh, what they call turbulence. It's just a word that was spoken against you. Jesus. Hmm? Hmm? Some some evil words, some, some, some wicked words. Some of them were spoken to you. Yep. Hmm? Some of them were spoken to you at a young age, and you're still trying to overcome them. You never be nothing. You ugly. You sorry. Be careful now. I know sometimes we look at our children and look at what they're doing and we want to say something ugly to them. You know why we do that? Because somebody said the same thing to us. I thank God that he overthrew the words of the transgression. Thank you, Lord. There was some evil words spoke to me in my life. Come on, somebody. And the path I was on, it looked like the words was true. <laughs> the thing that I was doing, it looked like what they were speaking was truth, and I almost got an agreement with them. But I've been a fighter all my life. Amen. I, ain't, I ain't just learned how to fight. I've been a fighter. I pick a fight. I wasn't no bully, but I liked to fight. <laughs> See, if there was a fight going on, I was in it. I wasn't the biggest guy. I was a little old. I was a skinny dude. <laughs> but I like to fight. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a different warfare. And I still put some do 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 on you. <laughs> let this Bible fool you. Y'all seen the Apostle, right? How many y'all seen the movie The Apostle? Some of y'all need to go get it. Man came to call the boss in trouble. He said, Step outside. Yeah. <laughs> and the people looking at him, went, You ever seen a preacher fight like that? <laughs> Man, you forget how to fight. But there's some words that's been spoken over your life. Amen. There's some, some, some people that's speaking against you. Hmm? But God is going to fight your battle. Don't get upset. You ain't got to fight in this one. Amen. Hmm? That's right. He's going to overthrow the words yes. you, Lord. of the transgressor. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Overthrow. I was watching this movie. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Caleb, what was the name of that movie where that guy? Uh, they still they got a series of it now. They were 300. That's what it was. 300. Yeah, 300. They got that straight out of the Bible. You know that, right? Yes. Hmm. And that's Gideon now. 300 fighting like one man. Oh, uh, but the guy was sitting there and he was lashing out, out hurling out all these. He was just hurling it, you know. He just, oh, you nasty! I'm gonna throw you to the pit. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. All he was saying all kind of stuff. And the dude, right when he was saying it. He just jumped right over where the man was and cut his arm off. <laughs> now he was still talking trash. Come on, somebody. Cut his arm off. And I saw that as the devil. And that's how the devil do. He just be hurling out accusations yes. and yes. hurling out what you can't do and hurling out the words against your life and telling you what's going to happen to your children and telling you they ain't going to never work and telling you marriage, you married the wrong person. And he's hurling out all these accusations. And hurt, but what you need to do is be like that guy. He jumped right over there and cut his arm off. That's right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You got to know how to use your sword. Amen. That's right. See, because the eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge. God wants you to stay in the know of what he's doing. Right. Hmm? 
See what God is doing. See what He knows. Ain't but one know it all. I know some people think they know it all. Ain't but one omniscient. That's right. That's God. He's omniscient. He said they Christian science. God is omniscient. That's right. He knows everything. Give my last scripture. Second Corinthians. Chapter 4. You got to see it for yourself. Look at your neighbor and say, see it for yourself. See, because if you never get the vision, you never get the provision. Amen. Everywhere God gives vision, he gives provision. Now, Bishop Rose came in here. I didn't ask him to take up no offer. Huh? We've been struggling around here just to pay the bill. But when somebody come with a vision, come on, people pay the vision. Amen. Right. Amen. I, I've been knowing this for years. People don't pay the need because everybody needs something. Amen. People pay the vision. Amen. Amen. That's why y'all send y'all money to the television. <laughs> Glory. Amen. <laughs> Had a man tell me that yesterday told me that they've been getting words from TV. So they send their money to the TV. I said, you better give me some money because I gave you the word first. <laughs> Y'all ain't bold enough to say that. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> mm. I, I mean, I know who I am. Amen. That's right. Uh, they bold enough to tell me that they're giving the money to the television. I'm the one sitting here with them. Television and uh, Bernard Jordan. Uh, them folks ain't going to come and cry with them and pray with them and hold them up. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Huh? Right. But they're sending the money there, but the one that's right here crying with you and, and uh, Yeah, you wrote me one chance, you better write another. Ain't, you ain't seen Bernard Jordan that. You looked at me like, how'd you know Bernard Jordan? I know God too. That's right. That's right. Amen. I saw what God saw. God told me, showed me where they were putting the money. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't want to hear this kind of preacher. Yeah, I do. Amen. Four and four. Four and one. Four and one. I know I put it. one through four. <laughs> All right. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Therefore, sin, in my old Bible, right where the two E's is, I put two eyes. <laughs> right in the middle of that E, I put yeah. some, some vision. Because you got to see that you got a ministry. Come on, hmm? come on. Therefore, sin, we have this ministry, this ministry. Come on, somebody. You got to have vision for this ministry, amen? I'm talking about the city of life. I'm talking about the city in your life. Come on, that God. I ain't just talking about the city of life. I'm talking about the city in your life, the ministry that God has given each and every one of us. You got to see it. You got to have vision for it. You got to go after what you see. You got to pay to the vision. Amen. That's right. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, you know why God gave you the ministry? He had mercy on you. See, some folks think that they got all that because they deserved it. I didn't deserve nothing. Huh? Amen. Huh? I know who I am. I know what God told me to do. He had mercy on me and allowed me to do it. Huh? I could still be sitting on the bar, uh, on a uh, stool in the bar. Amen. Hmm? You could too. That's right. Amen. You could be sitting somewhere, some house, crazy house, Amen. dope house. Come on. Amen. Hmm? Stuck in the outhouse. Yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't know nothing about the outhouse. We used to have to go to the country and they had an outhouse. My brother and them would stick a stick up against the door. <laughs> Stuck in the outhouse, boy. What a place to be. You didn't want to stay in there long. <laughs> but you see, you have this ministry as you have received mercy. You can't faint. Hmm? You can't give up on the grave. Hmm? You got to stay with the vision. You got to stay with the ministry that God has given you. You got to stay focused on what God's given you to do. Amen. Now, I know you got to cut grass for a living. No, you don't. 
You think you do. You don't have to cut grass anymore. Hmm? You need to keep that saxophone. You need to be blowing it up and down Broad Street. Hmm? Now, and don't put no cup out there. Hmm? Don't put your, don't, this ain't no New Orleans begging ministry. That's right. Hmm? Yes, Lord. Because if you see what you're doing and you're doing it with a purpose, somebody else going to see what you're doing and they're going to put fuel to your fire. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Just keep doing what God told you to do. Come on. Somebody going to pay for it because God give you a vision. Every vision there is provision. provision. Amen. See, we think we got to do all these things. I ain't got to do nothing. They that preach the gospel going to live with the gospel. Amen. Hmm? I just need to preach more gospel. Amen. Right. Maybe I'm preaching to the wrong crowd. Ugh. Man called me the other day, said he want to put me on radio. I want to go on television. Okay. <laughs> I'm going on television. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. I believe I got a good word for the television. You do. Amen. All right now. Amen. So guess what? When I get on there, somebody else going to see what I'm doing. That's right. Amen. <laughs> That's right. They're gonna pay the vision. And they're going to pay the vision. Amen. Amen. <coughs> so that I can go on more television. Amen. <coughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Tell more the vision. Tell more the vision. People need to hear. Right. My favorite evangelist is George Myers. I ain't ashamed to say it. Amen. When I got hooked on George Myers, she was on the radio. She wasn't on the television. Now, you turn the channel. She on the television. Yeah, that's right. She on more than any other one person there is. Yeah. She not passing no church. Mm -hmm. So they can't say the church doing it. Amen. Right. <laughs> she belonged to a church for y'all that don't understand how this thing goes. She got a pastor. See, you can't go no higher than your head. Amen. Huh? You gotta have somebody to cover you. I don't care how bad you are. That's right. That's right. She got a pastor. She talk about him sometimes. It ain't Dave neither. Hmm? Dave is her husband. Amen. Hmm? And he don't preach. Every now and then he'd get up and say a little something. Write a few nuggets in the newsletter. <laughs> Dave like to play golf. Amen. Yep. That's what he do. So what he do is he playing all the meetings close to some good golf course. <laughs> <laughs> While she preaching in the day session, he go out there and play golf. Amen. Come back that night, watch everybody selling all the books, and tapes, and stuff, count all the money, and plan the next meeting. Amen. <laughs> sit there and smile. There you go. Oh, this is a word for somebody. He do what he do. See, if your husband trying to compete with you, he ain't trying to complete you. All right. That's right, man. That's right. Hmm? My wife is a better preacher than I am. I'm just trying to get her up to it. Huh? I told her, I said, girl, that first, first, first uh, tape session I gave her, New Beginnings, Joyce Myers. That's the vision I had for her. Hmm? That's the vision God had for her. I want her to see this woman preaching and teaching. And she wasn't of our persuasion, our uh, intellect, doctrine, teaching, none of that. And my wife got hooked on Joyce. And I'm telling you, God set it up for her to meet Joyce. Amen. Yep. Oh, Amen. Who was the baby then? Who? Kayla was the baby. Wow. She was out in the van nursing. They went down to Alvin, Texas to a, to a, to a meeting. And uh, they after the meeting, they left and went to Papa's. Now, everybody that come to Houston got to go to Papa's. I don't care if you're George Miles. If you want to eat some good food, you got to go to Papa's. So they was at Papa's. George came to Papa's. <laughs> and Audrey... So George Myers, my wife had went out to the van to feed Kate. She was nursing. And uh, she said, George Myers, oh, George Myers, oh, you got to be my friend. You got to be my friend. She loves you. That's why we came to the meeting. She, oh, you know, went on and on. I wasn't there. They just told me about it. I can see it, though. Amen. <laughs> and George came out to the van. Can you imagine? She that nursing the baby, and here comes Joyce now. Wow. She went to see Joyce, but Joyce came to see her. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jesus. Amen. That was just a setup. Yes, it was. Hmm? See, because you got to see the ministry. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to have vision for what God got for you to do and know that God's going to put you before great people. Hmm? 
God's going to connect you with the right people. Listen, I ain't trying to impress everybody. I'm just trying to impress God. Amen. And if I impress God, he'll put me with the right people. Come on, somebody. You ain't got to impress everybody, but you do have to impress somebody. Amen. The right somebody. Hmm? One person can change your life. Amen. For the good or the bad. Hmm? Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to relate to? Who is it that God has connected you to? I thank God for all the connections in this in this house. And I thank God for everyone that's here today. Amen. But I want to see your vision. I want to see your vision call come to fruition. I want to see you doing, Shantae, what God called for you to do. Hmm? I want knowledge to be out there rapping. And let me tell you something. It ain't just rapping, producing. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hmm? And you ain't got to be in everybody's video. Amen. But you ought to produce some videos. Yes. Hmm? I was looking at, uh, what was that we watched last night? The Bodyguard. I got a vision right there, watching the Bodyguard. They was shooting a video in Whitney Houston's house or whatever the name was in the movie. And the man was flaming and trying to do that and he had to bring the Bodyguard in there. But you know what we're not doing? See, Joshua not excited about the camera because he don't know how much the camera can pay. Yeah. Amen. Mm. See, I got a vision for him. I ain't, I ain't just put him on that camera just Amen. for nothing because I, I want to see him get paid. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Them people at Channel 13 News running out there with them cameras, they ain't running out there uh, uh, against danger and all that stuff. Them people over there at Tel Aviv and everywhere running with them cameras, they ain't running out there just because they like to run with the camera. Amen. Amen. They getting paid. They getting paid. Amen. They get paid big money to run with them cameras. Yes. And they won't miss that shot because the shot is what, what they're after. That's, right. That's what get them paid more. Did you get that shot? Good oh, shot. good God. <laughs> See? I got a vision for my children. I know he don't want to preach, amen, but do you know Joe's daddy had a vision for him? That's amen. Right. He was the cameraman. The cameraman. That's right. Now he's the best known preacher in the whole world. Yes, he is. People from Korea. Uh, they was at uh, some meeting we was at. She said, I came to see, uh, where we was at? Paula White? She, they had a lady from Korea that she said, I came to see Paula, and when I leave, I'm going to see Joe. <laughs> came all the way from Korea Amen. to see Paula and Joe. Amen. Hmm? You know why? Because he saw him on television. Amen. And seeing him on television ain't the same as being live. Come on, Amen. somebody. Amen. Amen. Huh? That's right. So you need to get a vision for your life. Get the vision that God got for your life. You already got the vision. Line up with it. Yes. <laughs> if it don't look like what you think it ought to look like, see what God's saying about it. Yes. And line up with the vision. Because yes. <laughs> when you line up with the vision, guess what? That's going to be provision. Yes. Amen. <laughs> a lot of y'all trying to over here make provision before you get the vision. If you line up over here with the vision, amen, the provision for the vision is already there. That's right. Yes, yes. We start this ministry, my wife. How are we gonna do it? Who gonna support us? I don't care. I just know what we're supposed to do. Amen. Hmm? And she was she's one of my greatest supporters now, but she wasn't with me then. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tell the truth. So sometimes you just gotta go on out there. Mm -hmm. All right. So me and Kayla went knocking doors. Mm -hmm. Right here in Grove Town, knocking on doors. It was hot too. People seen that little boy sweating. He used to be a little chubby boy, so he sweat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the people would let us go in their house just to give him some water. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. While they was watering him, I was watering them. <laughs> Stay with the vision. Amen. See what it is that God is doing and line up with it for your life. Amen. 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 God bless you. Stand to your feet.